In this video, we shall be looking at how we can simplify a given problem using map entered variable technique. The first step is we construct a truth table and select map entered variable. Since there are four variables, there will be 16 input combinations starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 and ending at 1, 1. 1 and 1. So this is the truth table. A, B, C, D are the inputs. Y is the output. And output is 1 for 2, 3, 4, 5, 13 and 15. And the don't care terms are 8, 9, 10 and 11. Next, we have to select map entered variable. We can select either one or more variables as map entered variables. Let us restrict ourselves into selecting only one variable as a map entered variable in this example. So I'll select D as the map entered variable. So step one is done. Step two is Convert the truth table into map entered variable truth table. To convert the truth table that we got from step 1 into a map entered variable truth table, we have 7 rules. So, based on this 7 rules, we will determine what values must be entered in the map or the map entered variable truth table. So rule 1 is when the map entered variable is 0, output is 0. When the map entered variable is 1, output is 0. So irrespective of the map entered variable, the output is always 0. So the value that must be entered in the map will be 0. Rule 2 is when the map entered variable is 0, output is 1. And when map entered variable is 1, output is 1. So irrespective of the map entered variable, Output is always 1, so the value that must be entered in the map entered variable will be 1. Third rule is when the map entered variable is 0, output is 0. When the map entered variable is 1, output is 1. We can see that the output follows the map entered variable. So the value that must be entered in the map will be map entered variable. Rule 4 is when the map entered variable is 0, output is 1. When the map entered variable is 1, output is 0. You can see that the output is a complement of the map entered variable here. So you will write complement of the map entered variable. Rule 5 is when the map entered variable is 0, output is don't care. And when the map entered variable is 1, output is 0. In such a case, you can treat this don't care as 0, which will reduce rule number 5 to rule number 1. And the value that must be entered in the map will become 0. Similarly, when the map entered variable is 0, if the output is 0, and when the map entered variable is 1, if the output is don't care, then you can treat this don't care as 0, which will again reduce rule 5 to rule 1. So the value that must be entered will be 0 again. So rule 6 is when map entered variable is 0, output is don't care, and when map entered variable is 1, output is 1. So in such a case, you can treat this don't care as 1, which will reduce rule number 6 as rule number 2. So the value that must be entered in the map will be 1. Similarly, when map entered variable is 0, if the output is 1, and when the map entered variable is 1, if the output is don't care, then you can treat this don't care as 1, which will reduce rule number 6 to rule number 2, and the value that must be entered in the map will be 1. Last rule that is rule number 7 is when the map entered variable is 0 output is don't care and when the map entered variable is 1 output is don't care. So irrespective of the map entered variable the output is don't care. So the value that must be entered in the map will be don't care. So using these 7 rules let us try to convert the truth table that we got from the first step into a map entered variable truth table. 
so this entire thing will be a map entered variable truth table since we have taken one variable as the map entered variable we need to combine two rows at a time so these two rows you can see that abc is 0 here abc is 1 here 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so from 16 it has got reduced to 8 let us now determine the value that must be entered in the map so you can see map entered variable is 0 output is 0 map entered variable is 1 output is 0 so this is rule 1 so the value that must be entered in the map will be 0 and here map entered variable is 0 output is 1 map entered variable is 1 output is 1 so this is rule 2 so the value that must be entered in the map will be 1 again this is same as rule 2 so value that must be entered in the map will be 1 so this is rule 1 so the value that must be entered in the map will be 0 and map entered variable is 0 output is don't care and map entered variable is 1 output is don't care so this will be rule 7 and the value that must be entered will be don't care this again is same as rule 7 so it will be don't care so next when map entered variable is 0 output is 0 when map entered variable is 1 output is 1 the output follows the map entered variable so we write map entered variable here which was d and here also the output follows the map entered variable so we'll again write d as per rule number 3 now since there are 8 values we will need to draw a three variable k map with a b and c so that will be step 3 draw k map and enter the map entered variable values from map entered variable truth table so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 that will be 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 then don't care don't care d and d yeah in step 4 we group them to get a simplified expression so the k map that we got was 0 1 1 0 don't care don't care d and D. So while grouping, we have to follow three steps. Step one is group ones with other ones or don't care. So here I can group this one with this don't care and this one I cannot group it with any ones or don't care. So this will be a single and this will be a pair. So this will give me A bar B C bar and this will give me B bar C. So next step is replace all ones by don't care. So I'll do it here 0 0 don't care don't care d and d this cell was 1 and this cell was 1 so i'm writing don't care here so this step is done last step is group only alike map entered variable terms so i cannot form a octet but i can form a quad by combining these four cells which will give me a and it with D. 
so if it was d bar this cell if it was x x d bar d 0 x 0 x then i couldn't have form a quad because d and d bar are not same so in that case i would have combined these two and these two okay so since we have d in both the cells and don't care terms in these two cells i can form a quad so the, my final output expression will be y is equal to b bar c or a bar b c bar or ad 